Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today is iPhone 10 day. Happy iPhone day to all of you who picked up your iPhone today. So the iPhone 10 was released today uh, all around North America and also outside of the U.S. The lines, you can see them already in the news. Uh, I'm in the U.S., so you can see them in the Apple Store and even some of the local um, telephone companies like AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint. So if you did a pre-order, you're probably lucky because you have one. And if you're able to make it to a store and get one in store, then you're also lucky too. You'll find that those of you who ordered late or who are going to the store may have to wait a couple weeks, if not up to um, a month, is what I'm hearing in some of the forums. Now, I did uh, talk to some of the folks in a couple stores today to find out, hey, what are people buying when they are asking for the iPhone uh, 10? And it's interesting, they're saying that while the 64 is popular, there are more people going for the 256 than anything else. So what you see is for every one person that's buying a 64, you have three people that are picking up the 256. So larger capacity one is definitely uh, being sold at a higher rate. And that also uh, puts the question at that price point because you're talking about significantly more money um, for this phone than its predecessor. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. This is a 256 version, and it's going to be just like every other product. It's very simple, but we'll go through the setup, which is going to be a little bit different because this does have that face ID. All right, so to give you the full unboxing experience, we'll go ahead and take off the plastic off of the phone, throw it over to the side. And then what we'll do is we'll pull it open. So this is what your experience is going to be like. You have designed by Apple in California, uh, but made in China, as you all know. Put it over to the side here. And then here is your iPhone. By the way, as uh, we look at the iPhone 10, you'll notice that uh, you know a lot of glass here, also a lot of glass on the back. Uh, we are going to be looking at getting some... Uh, screen protectors. So I do have some dome glass screen protectors that we're going to be reviewing for this guy as well. So here is our iPhone. This happens to be the silver one with the white. I thought I had gotten the black one, but that's fine. You do have the uh, headphones. No, these are not AirPods. These are the wired ones. And you do have the existing uh, cable included as well. You do have a additional cable and a charging brick. Now, keep in mind that if you uh, did read that the iPhone has the ability to fast charge. This brick and this cable does not support fast charging. So this is going to be the standard charging brick and the standard charging cable. So you'll have to buy, if you're into Apple proprietary you know, products, you'll have to buy a new brick and a new cable, and you can imagine how much that's going to cost. So the, the unboxing is pretty simple. You got your phone, you got your little uh, charging brick, your audio adapter, and then your cable that supports standard charging. Now, a couple things as we review the hardware, just very high at a high level, and talk about the phone. Uh, if you are a Sprint or Verizon user that is on CDMA, once upon a time, uh, you could just buy an iPhone, and the phone was carrier independent. Like, if you go to the store, and I never, I don't recall this, comments in the bottom area if, if you do, if you saw this, but I remember buying the iPhone 8, 7, and 6, and being able to buy it unlocked, and it didn't matter what my carrier was. With the new iPhone, it's carrier-specific. So you do have versions that work with uh, the CDMA, and you have the versions that work with the uh, GSM. So AT&T, T-Mobile, US Cellular, you know, they're one um, model. And then those of you who are on Sprint or Verizon, you need another model. That's different this year for this phone. But again, if you've seen that in the past, please let me know in the comment area below. So here on the side, you'll notice that you have, uh, you know, the SIM tray. This is now your Siri button. Uh, over here, uh, you have your volume rocker. You do have over here your mute switch, so that it hasn't changed. You can see that it's still there. And then um, that's it. You know, there's no headphone jack, as you'd expect. You do have the simulated two speakers at the very bottom with your charging uh, port cable there. And this is the, uh, obviously this is the white or the silver one. I was hoping to get the black one, but I guess I got this one. And uh, that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and start it up. So we'll go ahead and power this guy up. Pressing this button right here. Here we have our Apple logo. Now, we're going to be doing a camera comparison. I'm going to be also looking at brightness comparisons because the word on the street is that this phone brightness, phones are measured in nits and ITS, and that the brightness on the iPhone 10 is 500 nits. Well, if you ask yourself, well, what significance is that? Well, phones like the Samsung phones are 1,200 nits. That means that it's much brighter. It means that it will do better in outdoor lighting. And you may ask yourself, as I've seen in, uh, in the Twitterverse, you know, how many people get their phone during indirect light? A lot of people do. So uh, now this, given the fact that this is a Samsung panel, this is a Samsung panel, uh, means that Apple chose to reduce the brightness. I highly doubt that Samsung produced a screen that is uh, not as bright as some of the other ones. So right now we're going to go ahead and swipe up. There's all new gestures with this phone. So we're going to choose English. Uh, and we're going to choose our state, which is uh, our country. Um, I'm going to not transfer anything over, so I'm going to go ahead and choose set up manually. 
And one of the other things I just want to mention, as I was at the uh, store, some stores are choosing, especially the carriers are choosing not to do any conversions because they have so many people. So you'll have to do this on your own. So I'm going to choose my Wi-Fi and continue. Now, once you put in your Wi-Fi, it's going to go ahead and activate the iPhone. Now, one of the things I'll tell you right off the bat, given the size, because even though the screen is the size of your iPhone um, 10, or iPhone 8 Plus, the type is very cramped, and it feels like a smaller iPhone. Just something for you to know. Let me go ahead and try this activation one more time. All right, so that's the second time the activation worked. at t uh, may have a lot of these being activated. And one of the things is, I have to say, I like the design. We've seen this design with the essential phone, you know, it going from top to bottom. That knockout on the top doesn't really bother me uh, that much at all, really. But it looks good. So I really like the fact that I think that this is the first time that, in a long time, since the 6, probably, that Apple has come out with a newer design. Um, I guess you can call it innovative, even though everybody's uh, copying everybody. So let's go ahead and go through the Face ID piece. I know you'll want to see that. And what I'm going to do is just um, do the registration here on the side, see if it picks up my face. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And here I am with my glasses. And I'm going to move my head around so that it will pick me up. All right. Okay, so we're going to hit continue. And we're going to uh, do the same thing. All right. So that's set up. So that was the process. Now let's go ahead and hit uh, continue. Uh, I'm going to put in my passcode. Now one of the things that you could do is for the passcode, you can reduce it. So if you don't want that really long passcode, you can reduce it just like I did to uh, the four. Now once you went ahead and set up uh, your passcode, uh, the next step is either set it up as a existing phone or set it up as new. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up as new. You could also move data from Android if you're coming from an Android. Now I'm going to put my Apple ID. Now after you put in your Apple ID, you have to accept the terms and conditions. And now it's going to go ahead and set things up. So we'll give it a couple seconds. Uh, but so far, again, I haven't seen much difference. You could have skipped the Face ID um, kind of setup. I went through it just so that you can see what it's all about. Uh, and now what you can do is either, you know, do some Express settings or customize settings. I'm just going to go do Express. We'll get through that really quick. Uh, you could set up Apple Pay. I'm going to set it up later. Um, in my area, Apple Pay doesn't work that well. There's not a lot of places that support it. So I use Samsung Pay, even though I carry uh, many times two phones. Um, you can set up your chain uh, if that's something that you want to do. Um, I'm going to... I'll probably skip this step. Now, your next step is to get Siri going. So I'm going to hit continue so we can see what that is. Say, okay, so I have to say this. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. One more time. <laughs> hey, Siri. How's the weather today? Hey, Siri, it's me. All right. So now it's set up. Um, I'm going to... I don't like sharing, so I'm not going to go ahead and share that. Uh, so it has two-tone display. Let me show you what it looks like without it. So that's what the screen looks like uh, without it. If I reduce it, you'll notice how it changes. Let's see if we'll do that again. You see the difference? We'll do it one more time. So what it, the two-tone is doing is it's looking at the light around me. Since I have a very bright LED light above me, it's modifying the light, uh, the screen, so that it is easier on my eyes. So I'm going to re remove it and then watch what happens. All right? So I saw a change. I don't know if it'll come up on video. We'll hit continue. Uh, now it's going to talk to about all the flicking and things that you have to do. We'll do a video on gestures um, after this. And then how you switch. So you notice how you do the switching. And how do you get your quick controls from this point down. So you have swipe gestures on each side. And then swipe up to get started. So that's it. Uh, that's the screen. We're going to... Yeah, I, I do location sharing, so I don't have a problem with that. So... Uh, I do believe that there's probably some updates, so what you'll want to do as soon as you get your phone and start it, check and see if there's any updates available. Um, there's been um, a lot of updates coming in. I also participate in the beta programs, so I may get stuff that you may not have yet. So uh, that's it. That's what you would expect. There's not a lot uh, going on. Uh, pretty much standard Apple stuff. It looks just like your iPhone if you have a 6, 7, or even an 8. It will look exactly the same except for, obviously, this cutout that you see here. And just like I anticipated that there is an update, so go ahead and do the update. Important that you keep things um, current, especially uh, for many defects, and you do want to have the experience with your new phone. So make sure you do that. All right, so that concludes uh, the unboxing and initial setup of the iPhone 10. Um, as I mentioned, we have tons uh, of cases, accessories, uh, things that we still are going to be reviewing, screen protectors. I do have uh, from Dome Glass, uh, which in my opinion is the best uh, glass screen protector on the market. I do have, and I'm going to be testing these with the iPhone 10, and I'll let you know how they go. Uh, once I've tested this and I feel confident that it's going to give you a great experience, I'm sure that we're going to have some that we'll be able to have in a review and also have some giveaways, so stay tuned to the channel.
All right, so with that, we wrap up today's unboxing of the iPhone 10. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment area below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.